Okay, I'm going to show you how to make half finger gloves on the fourth inch fine gauge. What we're going to do is this is going to be pretty much similar to the gloves with slight alterations. So mostly what I'm going to show you is the fingers and the thumb and then the rest is just like the glove. So instead of a drawstring cast on, we're just going to cast on 18 pegs. So there's one, two, and we're just going to work flat back and forth for eight rows and that's the rows we're going to be using for every single part of the finger so here's row one this is slicker yarn so it'll be um, a little more of a challenge, but not too much more. So you're going to knit 18 for eight for eight rows. Go ahead and pause the video and get um, seven more rows done because that was row one. And then I will show you how to go from there. Okay, we've completed our eight rows. Doesn't look like much, but you don't need much when you're only doing a half finger. Okay, so just like we do on our gloves, we're going to move over to to the left to a single peg there just like you are there we go now we're going to because we're not doing a drawstring and we need that extra space and we don't want to have to cut I'm just going to kind of take it back a little. Doesn't have to be a lot. Doesn't matter how far you take it back. And now we're going to cast on nine. And this is going to be our middle finger. So there's two, three, now we're going to knit back and forth for eight rows on this one. Our first row is going back. So it's going to be row one, and you're just going to be working between those nine pegs you just cast on. Let's go ahead and pause the video and complete those eight rows, and then I will move on from there and show you the next finger and how to generally proceed in getting all your fingers done. So there's two. Pause the video and complete the rows for this section and we'll go from there. Okay, we've completed our next eight rows and I'm going to release that. And now we're going to move our two stitches to the right on one peg. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to move these two stitches to the end over to one peg. To the left to one peg. At 
this point we're going to cast on 9 and do just like we did on the middle finger and you're going to move those stitches back, move the end stitches in and then you're going to do 14 you're going to do the same thing on the moving and then 9, same thing on the moving and then 9 again um, when you get to the last 9 you're going to need to move these two stitches over and then work the 9 and then you're going to be moving those last two stitches you completed on the last nine over and then move those back and then move those to the last one and um, I'll show you how to do that one so you kind of see what I'm up to on that one but go ahead and complete the ring finger, the pinky and the ring finger and I'll show you the middle finger Okay, we're to the uh, last finger. I've already moved my two from the ring finger over. And you don't technically have to move these, but if you don't want to have to be aware of not tossing those loops over, I would suggest moving them. And that just makes it easier to keep aware of not wanting to toss those bottom loops over. So I'm just going to move those over. There. And we'll give ourselves a little extra. And then that'll give you your nine. And then you'll just go ahead and cast on as usual. And do your eight rows. Go in and do your eight rows, and then I'll show you how to um, fix this setup over here. Okay, now I've done my eight. I'm going to release my stitch thing there, and I'm going to move those two over as I would do normally, back over to that peg between the ring and the middle finger. Now I'm going to move the two end ones over to one. Then I'm going to move these two back. Where they were. Again, if you feel comfortable, you don't have to move these at all. You can just leave them where they're at but if you don't want to have to worry about forgetting and knitting those over then move them like I did then you're going to go in and you're going to move those to that peg over there and that's how it should look that way you have three stitches at the beginning of each finger so there's your index finger there's your ring finger, I mean your middle finger, your ring finger, your pinky finger, ring finger, and middle finger. So now we're going to, I'm going to show you the next two rows. And so what you're going to do is you're going to knit over to the beginning of your next section. And you're going to do a little peg doubling. There's our next section in the beginning. There's three stitches and you're going to knit two together, move to the previous peg, then you're going to knit that bottom stitch and then move that previous one you moved back onto that one. And then you're going to 
knit over to the next section and you're going to do the same thing you're going to knit two stitches together move that loop to the previous peg then you're going to knit the bottom loop then you're going to move that previous stitch back to that peg I'm going to do this all the way around. Now we're ready to start our next row and this row is going to get us back down to 56 stitches. So we're going to knit over to our first section that has two stitches on it. we're going to knit those two stitches together like that and you're going to go around and you're going to knit in the beginning of each section those two stitches together and you're going to do this all the way around and then you're going to knit 30 rows just like you do the glove and then we're going to start on the thumb so go ahead and pause the video and complete up to the thumb part and I will show you how to go about creating the thumb for a half fingered glove okay we have 30 rows and we're fixing to go in and do our thumb so first things first we want to knit four one two three four and then the next ten pegs we're going to work back and forth for eight rows so there's one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's row one. Count back. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten and you're going to do that for total eight rows This is going to be three. We're going to go in and we're going to knit three. One, two, three. Then we're going to e wrap, e wrap the next two. Move that over. Toss the bottom loop over. E wrap, e wrap. Basically, we're casting off. Creating the area where the sum will come in. more 
and then knit the last two. Okay. Now we've created an opening. Now we're going to close it back up. So knit three. Then I'm going to just do an e wrap cast on back on those four pegs and then knit three. Then you're going to knit eight rows. Actually, it's going to be seven because we're doing an odd number. So here's one. We're going to do seven. And here's two. And there is our thumb. Now I like to bring those outer loops back so that it makes it easier sewing for in the future. And the way I do that is I go to my last peg, I follow the ladder back, and to see. So there's that, there's the letter, and there should be my stitch. Right there. And you're just going to put it back on the You do the same thing on the other side and this just makes it easier when sewing up. So pull that back. That should be that right there. Okay. Now at this point you want to knit ten rows and go in and knit nine and then decrease on either side. Start knitting flat and and decreasing every other row on each side until you have ten empty pegs over in here. And then you do the knit three purl two rib stitch. So the finishing of this is exactly the same as the glove. So um, if you need help with that, just simply go in and follow the glove. And with this, you'll naturally turn it inside out. And you'll make sure that you sew up the space in between each finger. And you will want to find those very edges. And you'll do the same thing on the thumb that you just did. And then after you do that, you're done. And keep in mind, your first finger and your pinky finger are one piece. The middle and the ring are the two separate pieces that you have to sew together on both sides. So that's how you go about making the half finger glove.